Um, we might have more people join us and I hope we do. Tonight, I wanna, I wanna tell you guys just what's been on my heart. And uh, first of all, Wade and I haven't told everybody yet, but we, Wade, can you come in here in a second? I'll wait till he gets in here and I'll let him tell everybody. Oh my gosh, the dogs and everything are there. <laughs> uh, I'll let Wade get in here first. Uh, before I before I talk about that, maybe it'll be at the end of this video. We got an announcement coming up, and I'm really, really, really excited about it. We're getting ready to tell the whole world, but we're going to tell you all here first, and we're really excited about it. So it's going to be a great thing, a great company thing, and so that's going to be cool. But tonight, before we give you guys the big announcement, I'm going to talk to you guys about decisions. And um, I was thinking today how decisions change our life. And it just hit me. I wonder where I would be if I hadn't made the decisions that I made when I was 51 years old. And that decision was, there was many decisions I made when I was 51 years old, but my, my decision was to leave the marriage I was in for a long time for almost 31 years and I'm not a promoter of divorce at all but my marriage was never where it should have been um I'm never leaving this guy so <laughs> but I'm I don't believe in divorce and that's why I stayed for so long you know, I should have, we should have never got married. We ended up, a lot of you guys have heard that we got married because I was pregnant. Um, but I was thinking about the decisions I made when I turned 50 and 51 years old, all those decisions of quitting my career, uh, getting a divorce, um, basically leaving everything behind me. But my first focus was on my health. And it seemed like it seems like this in a lot of people's lives that when you make a decision that enough is enough, you know, my decision came from I felt like crap. I I felt awful. I didn't feel in control of my body in any way. I was just a mess. I wasn't sleeping. I I hated to look in the mirror. Um, looking in the mirror was actually and feeling bad about that was actually a small part of what helped me make my decision. And of course, then I met this guy and he was a rock star and I was just, you know, smitten with him. So that was another reason I made the decision to really change my health and my body because I wanted to give my best me to him, to be really honest. And um, so it all kind of compiled, but I made this decision and I look back now and I, I want to talk to you guys about it. And I want you to look back into your life because here's where I was. People make decisions whether they make a decision or not. I stayed in an almost 31-year marriage, didn't get in shape because I didn't make a decision to change it. But I want you to realize that the decision that I didn't make was a decision to stay where I was in things I knew that was not working. And I want you to think about that because when people come on our program, they're fired up and ready to go. And then their fire, a lot of times dwindles down. And they're like, I, I can't, I, Ali, this is hard. Any new habit is hard, getting a new job and going to a new New job every day is hard. Being married is hard. Being a mother some days is very hard. Um, dealing with menopause, that's hard. <laughs> um, choose your hard though, because it is a decision either way. So when women and men come to us and they say, it's hard, I want you to realize what brought you here in the beginning was hard. It was hard. Now I could have stayed in that old hard 
and made a decision to stay there. I knew exactly what I was going to get. I was going to get exactly what I was getting. And sometimes that's easier than the unknown, the fear of the unknown. What's going to happen to me if I try? Or am I going to fail again? I, I just do not want to fail again. You know, but this time in my journey, my health journey and my fitness journey and in my life, I decided that I would continue no matter what, that there was no option for failure, that I was going to make the decisions that it took to get where I wanted to go. And I was going to stick with it. I was sick and tired of it. I've had enough of it. And that time it stuck. It stuck and it changed my life. And here we are today, coaches, because we made a decision. And I wonder where I would be right now had I not made that decision. I would most likely be right in the same place where I was miserable. I stayed with that decision for a very long time because I made no decision. Changing anything, ladies and gentlemen, is hard. But like we said earlier, choose. You have to choose your hard. What are you willing to live with? Mine was seeing myself. I was sitting, I'll never forget it. And some of you guys have heard me say this, but I was sitting on the bed, drinking alcohol and beside a man that I was not in love with, who was my husband at the time. And it crossed my mind that you can live this life from a nursing home. And I saw myself somehow on my deathbed with all the regrets. I felt them that day. And I decided that I was not going to go there. I wasn't going to keep continuing to make that decision not to change because that decision not to change is a decision. Decisions alter our life. And we as women and men have the power to change our lives. But so many times we don't change our life because the decision scares us. But sometimes we got to get sick of where we are to really be sick of it. And I want you to really be sick of it. Because I know that if I had not made that decision, I would still feel ill. I felt like I had a terminal disease. I really felt that ill. I thought something was very wrong with me. That decision changed so much of my life. And weight loss and getting, getting fit, because I was able to do that, it gave me confidence to change so many areas of my life. And I'm still gaining confidence I'm a very, I was a very unconfident kind of person my whole life. I still deal with that today. But finding the power to change my life has transformed my life in so many ways. I would have never thought I could start a weight loss and fitness company with my husband after the age of 50. Are you freaking kidding me? That's ludicrous. I don't have the experience to do that. I married the hottest guy I've ever met that I just fell head over heels in love with after the age of 50. That sounds crazy. Looking for love for the first time in your life after the age of 50, really? Yeah. Starting a company and working with women all over the world after the age of 50. Yeah. Crazy. But you know, it took a decision. I didn't know when I made those decisions to change my health and my body that they would lead me to so many different places that have brought me so much strength just in in learning how to do that that it took me to all these places to where now we're mentoring and coaching you how cool is that so that decision i cannot imagine what my life would be right now had i not made the decision that I wasn't going to give up on myself ever again, that I was going to pursue it and I was not going to quit. I was not going to fail. I had to study like a crazy person because I was going through menopause, also going through menopause. Crazy. Where would I be? I wouldn't be here. 
Maybe where would you be if you decide if you had not made a decision to change your health and and everything? I'd probably be in clubs <laughs> every night, probably drinking every night. It's where I saw myself going, and uh, I didn't I didn't want that for me. I didn't want that for my family. I didn't want that for my kids. I didn't want that for. Now, now grandkids, I didn't want that kind of life, but it would have been really easy for me to slip into that, into that party all the time type of guy. And it's, and it, it's, it frightened me. It really did. So uh, I, if you don't know, uh, I know we've got some new people on here after the age of 50, Wade had to change his life, his what ex-wife decided that she wanted a divorce and he left Georgia and left everything he ever had. And basically, basically same thing, lived with his parents for just a short time. A few months. Yeah. And had to start a new career, everything else. And Wade was not in shape. Actually, Wade had a lot of muscle loss, didn't he? Yeah. And, um, if you know what happened to you by changing your diet and your workouts, what happened inside of you? Oh, it 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 changed. It changed. Uh, it changed. Uh, it wasn't just a physical change. Um, it's surprising how one change in your life can lead to other changes in your life. How one success in your life can allow you to go into other areas of your life and succeed in areas that you may have never thought that you would ever succeed in. And that's what, that's what that did for me. Um, I used the gym as therapy, but it wasn't very long after I started going to the gym that I started realizing that I had value that I had value and that I could do anything that I wanted to do. If I put my mind to it, I, I could succeed in any area of my life. And when I started succeeding by changing my body, then, you know, I went into this whole competition thing at over at the age of 50 years old competing against 25 year olds, you know, a lot of people thought you're just nuts, <laughs> but I did it and I succeeded at that. And it gave me, uh, it gave me self-esteem. It gave me pride. It gave me, uh, it gave me worth. I felt like that I was worth something. And I knew that if I felt that if I could feel that way about myself, if I could feel good enough about myself and change myself, then I could uh, empower and help others change their lives in the same way, in the same pattern. Because changing your life physically, when it's something that you may have struggled with for years, and it may have been something that you've never succeeded at and you've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. When you do succeed and you can succeed, the new guys are on here, you will succeed here if you work the process. If you stand firm, you will succeed. You will. How long it takes, it may take three months, it may take six months, it may take nine months, but who cares? Who cares if it takes you a year to get where you really want to be? Isn't a year's worth of your time, isn't it worth it? To succeed and to be and to succeed at something that you may have struggled with for years. And when you do succeed, you're gonna see that it will change the way you look at things in life. It will change the way you feel about things in life, particularly yourself. When you look in the mirror, 
you will have a new perspective of that person that's looking back at you. You will have more self-esteem. You will have more pride. You will have more confidence in yourself to go into other areas of your life and succeed also. I never thought that I would be a, 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 a nutritional fitness a company owner. Owning a company to me was something that people that were so above me did. I was way down here. This is where I felt like I was. I never thought that I could do anything like we're doing. I never, never in my wildest dreams, never in my wildest dreams would I have, I would have been terrified to try to go out on my own and quit my job that I was getting a weekly paycheck. It took me six months to decide to quit that job because since I was 16, I had always worked for somebody else. I'd never done anything like this. This was terrifying to me. <laughs> it was, I guess that's why it took me so long to finally go in and say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not working for anybody else the rest of my life. I'm going to do this because this is where my passion is. And I feel like that I'm strong enough on the inside now, now that I've accomplished this one por portion of my, of my life, changing my body, changing my health, changing the way I felt physically. I felt confident that I could go out into other areas of my life and, and be successful. Many, many people who, who change their bodies and their health through diet and exercise and they're successful at it, change uh, Tony Robbins. And I, I, some people love him, some people hate him. I look up to him. The man has helped me change my life. Truthfully, the way I think about myself and I don't see him as some God or some crazy guru. I just see him as a man with a lot of knowledge that has helped me transform the way I think about myself. And it has transformed my life. But Tony Robbins said that he was just a failure in every area of his life. I mean, he was failing. And he decided he was going to quit being fat, is what he said. And he was, you know, when he was growing up, they would go without food a lot of times. And he said, so whenever we got food, we ate it. He goes, we ate it till it was gone. Because honestly, we didn't know if we were going to get food. So he said, even as an adult, I would sit down and I would eat and I knew I was full, but I'd continue to eat because I still had food. And he said, so I started making it a thing. I was going to take control over my life. And here's what I was going to do. He said, I was going to leave food on my plate and I was going to push it away. And then he said, I was going to tell myself, great job great job. You did a great job. And he said, he began to celebrate that and he started losing weight. That was the first thing that he did. One of the very first things he did to change his life. And he said, now when I go to work with people, he said, the first thing I focus on is guess what? Their body and their health. The first thing I focus on is that because if they can win at that, it's going to change so much of their life. You know, we've got clients like Gina Williams. She came on and she, she tells this story. So I'm allowed to tell it. She tells it on video. Her and her husband were going to get a divorce. They hadn't told their twin daughters yet. Their twin daughters were going to graduate that year. And they decided to keep it quiet. And she slept in a different room. And she came on our program, 50 something years old, early 50s. And she started losing weight. And she started getting confidence in herself. And she said, you know what? She wrote us a big, long email. We woke up one morning to this big, long email that said, Alain Wade. And she just poured her heart out. And she said, I want to fight for my marriage. And she said, I don't know if my husband is going to reject me. I don't know. He very easily can. But I'm going to try. 
And if he rejects me, he rejects me, but I'm going to try. And she tried. And then we got another email. What? A couple weeks later, they had slept in the same bed that night. And she said, he held me all night long. And then she starts running 5Ks with her daughters who ran in these marathons. At first, she started supporting them where she used to just stand at the beginning and at the end, at the finish line. But she was meeting them. She started meeting them. She'd run to their next point where she could see them. And she would run to each point. And then she started running races herself. And her daughters started training her their senior year. So now she's training with her daughters, working with us. At, she lost a total of 80 pounds. And she also decided that she was going to quit just going to work every day. She was a manager at work and she decided that she was going to put her heart and soul back into it. And she started giving her best at work as well. She said, Allie, it's changing me in every area of my life. And she'd send us pictures of her and her husband laughing and they're at their kids run, you know, the, at the marathon or whatever they were, wherever the run was and just start going out together and dating each other again. Phenomenal story, lost 80 pounds. And she did that in about nine months, nine and a half, nine, yeah. nine and a half <laughs> 10 months. But she was committed, she was consistent. She made a decision. She wasn't gonna make the old decisions anymore. Her old decision was this, she gave up. She gave up on her marriage. She gave up on her body. She gave up on her health. She gave up on her work. She gave up on believing in herself. That was her decision. It seems easy, but that's, that's D-A-M-N hard. <laughs> that's hard. When you give up on yourself, that's one of the worst hards you'll ever have. That's one of the worst decisions you'll ever make. And so many of us make it and we just stay right there. And we don't try and we don't fight for ourselves. But Thursday night, you've, you've got two people right here who tried and fought for themselves. You got Pam up here in the corner who was in a wheelchair and she's fought for herself. She's taken back her life. She's out of the damn wheelchair. She is killing it. She's fighting for her life. We got down here, just some testimonies. I got Virginia. She is one of the most consistent clients we've ever had. She has taken her life back. She is fighting for herself. And I'm going to tell you what, it might be hard, but this hard and my hard and his hard is a whole lot easier than the hard where we gave up on ourselves. It's a whole lot easier. It requires something of me. But you know what? The reward I get is worth it. That old reward I used to get for that decision I used to make where I felt like crap about myself and I literally felt like crap, that reward sucked. I don't want that anymore. I choose this reward. I choose the feeling better, the looking better, the confident, the changing my life because it didn't just change my body, changed my whole life. And I'm gonna ask you guys to do this. Do it, it's hard, it ain't easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It would be, if it was so easy, everybody would be in shape and feeling great and Confidence level up to here and just taking their life back. It's not easy. It's not. But being where I used to be wasn't easy either. It was awful. I'd rather be right here, believing in myself, feeling better, looking better, building my confidence back. Running this company. God, crazy thing, awesome thing. Seeing rewards like this, sitting, working with people like you, what a great reward. When I see lives transformed, oh my God, it gives my life purpose. This reward right here, dang. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> but I, if I didn't fight for myself, my confidence was so low. I felt so bad about myself. Do you think that I would have went with him? No, no, heck no. Nope. 
Do you think I would have started this company ever if I hadn't changed my diet? No, because I was afraid doing it after I had some confidence. I never would have done it. So on Thursday, I'm having a meeting in Bod Bakes. And there are people in there who are not clients and there's people who are past clients and there's current clients and it's a women's group and it's grown like crazy. And I'm going to have a lady come on. She's an author. Her name is Cindy Bell. She's going to speak to everybody and I'm going to interview her. It's going to be awesome. And she changed her life after the age of 50. And she's all about fitness. And from that has flowed so many great things in her life. She's an author after the age of 50. She's a mother of five. She found the love of her life after the age of 50. She's a real estate agent and an author and now a coach. She's coaching women. She's inspiring. Her book is amazing. She wrote a book called What the 50. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, it's happening Thursday night at 630. I hope that you'll join us over there because it's going to be a great, great, great thing to inspire you even more. But I want you to fight for yourself. And I want you to think about this. This is tonight's homework. Uh, I don't want you to just have this meeting, but I want you to think. If I don't change my life, what am I settling for? What hard am I settling for? And I, am I willing to have that kind of reward or am I going to stand up and fight for myself and be consistent and move forward and, and change my life? That is my challenge to you today. I, I'm tired as a coach of seeing people give up on themselves so easy and go, well, it's hard. Well, let's figure out your hard because the other was harder. We just got to make some adjustments. We just got to figure some things out. What works for you and what doesn't? And we've got to ebb and flow because Wayne and I set up a program, but guess what? We got to figure out what works for you to make it happen. We got to work together. That's why you have coaching calls that you maybe aren't making. You need to make them. And that's why we got to figure some stuff out. We got to work together. We got to communicate. Because if we are, I can't help you. If you don't communicate, he can't help you. You came on here. You're paying us for a reason. Let's do this thing. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Let's change your life. Let's get it done. You know, you've been sick and tired of it. We got to take it back. Man, it's time to take your life back. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it, ladies. Let's do it, gentlemen. Okay, we got to let you go. But before we do, we got a big announcement. What is that announcement, babe? And I'm going to let you tell it. Cambria, I want you to go in your room just for a few more minutes and shut the door. You're getting Bo all wild and crazy. Shut the door for a few minutes, and then I'll let, I'll let him loose here in a minute. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Sorry. Ta-da! <laughs> kind of sprung this on me. Sorry. Um, yeah. So, uh, we tell them that, yeah, if we're going to tell them, we got to tell the whole world. Okay. So, um, we've been, we've been, uh, we started this company about three years ago and it's always been men and women. And we really didn't, uh, focus on an age group to be perfectly honest. It just, so it, it just happens that the majority of our client base is over 40. Uh, and the majority of our client base was women, actually probably 85% women. And, uh, dragging an 80 pound dog you should, have, you should have had that on video uh so uh like like any other company as you grow you have to make changes and you have to make adjustments and uh we contemplated this for a long time as to where we needed to go were we were we happy with where we were were we happy with being able to help 125 people at a time or was our passion wanting to take us to three four five hundred and what did that look like to us what did that look like as far as 
Allie and I handling everything. And we knew that we couldn't on our own. So we brought Anjali on uh, part-time a few months ago, and she's really, really working out very well. She's helping with coaching calls. And uh, those uh, responsibilities are will probably change and they will probably increase and probably more staff is gonna come on very soon. So what we wound up doing is we hired a marketing company uh, out of Ireland, to be perfectly honest. And we've been working with them for over a month now. And uh, we've been dialing everything in. We have been dialing everything in. And, and that looks like what? Well, <laughs> we've never really done much marketing, to be perfectly honest. It's all been right here. It's all been on Facebook and word of mouth. That has been our marketing campaign. Just Facebook lives. Facebook it. live. Yeah. No paid ads. Right. Until now. So we started doing uh, some, we started building some ads and they've been running for about two weeks, maybe two weeks, 14, 15 days. And um, Ali created a new group. And the, the big announcement, the big part of this is we're going strictly women. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to keep the men on. We have, yes. but we're, we're, we will be a strictly woman company because here's the thing, ladies. We need to be able to talk to each other about some stuff. And it's hard when there's dudes all the way, all the way, all around us. And we can't talk about some stuff that women our age want to talk about. And what's so weird is my mama didn't talk to me about menopause and weight gain and all that stuff that we deal with and muscle loss. And so we decided mutually with our marketing team that this was what we needed to do. And not only that, it's not only just women, but. It's women 40, it's 40 plus. Okay. Yeah. Um, and guys, hopefully somewhere down the road very soon, once, once this is running smoothly, then I, I will create something for the men, but for the time being, our main focus is going to be uh, women over 40. And Allie created a, the bod, the bod babes is actually going to be the big division of the bod garage. So the bod garage is the parent company. Bod babes is actually the big, the, the biggest division that we will probably have. Uh, in this, in this division, um, we have started running ads. And uh, for those women that see our ads, our audience has gone from probably 25,000 people, which is what we've roughly been working with for three years, to uh, 4.7 million uh, women. And it's just, the ads are just focused towards women. Uh, you know, when you run Facebook ads, you can determine who you want to see it, where you want them to see it, how the age group, you can determine a lot of factors when you set these ads up. And so we set it up specifically for women 40 plus uh, in the United States. So we're so excited about this because we will have a safe place for women to discuss that are over the age of 40, that are dealing with issues we've never dealt before. We're gonna have things like interviews with other women who've done amazing things in their life. We're gonna be mainly focused on weight loss and fitness, but we're also going to focus on other areas of women, our ages, lives. And I love it because it is just going to be a group that we really feel is missing. It's something that has been missing for women our age. I feel like people forget about us. You know, it's like I went to lose weight and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, am I going to learn from some dude or am I going to learn from some girl that's like 30? Because I had no I didn't know like there was even people my age that could get in shape anymore. I just thought that's how, what you had to kind of live with. It's kind of it's part of aging. I guess it's just what you live with. We're not taught about muscle loss and how it changes our metabolism and weight gain during menopause and all those things. We're not taught about it, what our diet should look like. So we, Wade and I are excited 
to have this amazing place where it's just going to be women like us, where we can just talk about everything and just, I don't know, just yeah. a lot of synergy. Yeah, you know, I, We're I'm, real excited about it. I'm, I will not be involved in, <laughs> in the bod babes. Um, He's not going to talk about uh, hormones. No. <laughs> um, there have been over 600 women already coming to the group, the new group. Uh, and most of these women have no idea about Allie and I. They don't know us like you guys, some of you guys do. Uh, so they're going to be very new and they've never heard of, of what we do or anything. So uh, we're broadening our, our arms. That's what we're doing. Um, and if we can help, you know, if we can help more women um, change their lives uh, through this pathway, maybe this will trigger other pathways of their life to where they can succeed there also. There's going to be a lot of things that, that you women are going to be talking about that I'm not going to have any, any knowledge of whatsoever. I'm going to be more uh, on the back end of the company, working things back there. Um, and Allie's going to definitely be uh, in the forefront and the captain of the ship. So um, it's, it's, a big, it, it, it's, it's a big step for us. Uh, due to the fact that um, uh, we're going to stay, I, I think the ads are going to stay in the U.S. for a period of time, and then we're going to branch out into uh, other countries. So um, that's that's basically it. So um, I guess that's what you wanted me to tell them. Anything else uh, uh, for 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 you ladies that are already uh, members? Okay, nothing changes for you. Uh, you'll be part of the bod babes you'll be part of the bod babes uh, automatically uh uh no price change or anything like that as long as you guys are members um there is a, a pricing structure difference but at, at this time you guys are are safe and sound you're grandfathered in so to speak <laughs> so uh I, I guess that's it yeah that's it so it's going to be a safe place to empower women and that's what we're going to be about we love you guys we're so excited and we will talk to you soon more about it bye Peace guys out.